from TK1636, today's build three of the animals kit. Right now I have everything left on the left side. So I have the thigh, the shin, the bicep, the forearm, shoulder bell, the sniper knee, the hand plate, the thermal deck, bicep clip, outer shim, I have one inner shim already made, and then I still need one inch elastic for the hand plates, one inch nylon for the thigh strap, two inch elastic for the forearm to bicep connection, and then the one inch wide elastic with my homemade bra clips for the rear of the shim for connection. I still need to make those. So I'm going to go ahead and make just short videos of each piece. So I'll go ahead and start with the shin. Move all this out of the way. And I'll start with the shin. One thing I've already done with everything other than the, sh the shin is I've already trimmed it down 10 in and then I trimmed it on this edge 10 and this one I just trimmed it down so that it fit him better he was already here for the, sh the shins and the right side so I was able to make those but he's not here so I'm just going to emulate from the left side and the right side so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mark a line on the thigh so I know where to cut. So the front's very easy, there's a ridge up here. I just use the ridge. He's screen accurate size. So I'm gonna go 10 down. So I'm just gonna follow the ridge. It does kind of go up. I see that here, so I'm gonna go where it doesn't slant. So I'm gonna stop right about here and make a line. Go 10. Then I'm gonna come in. I'm going to go ahead and make my line. So I just line up the hash marks I made. And I come in here and make a line. Top to bottom. So now I have a line that I cut out. So it's very easy for the front. The rear is going to be a little bit harder. I'm just using these 10 snips that I bought from Lowe's, very affordable, and they cut through just about anything with ease. Sometimes a scorn snap works, sometimes when you want a straight airline, the scorn snap might not be the best option. So I cut that out. I'm not going to be able to use this as an inner shim because it's way too small. So I just discard that. I'm going to go ahead and put it down because I'm not ready for the back yet. I'll come to the other side and do the exact same thing that I did before. So I'll mark 10. This one is a lot straighter so it doesn't curve up like the other side. So I won't have to worry about I don't have to worry about measuring in a different spot. So on this side, you can see right here, it curves up quite a bit compared to over here. So I didn't want to make the hash mark over here because then this would curve. I want to try to keep it as straight as possible. So when these two come together, they're nice and straight. There's not as much of a gap. So I'm gonna mark this one now. So it's a little bit trickier with only one, one hand available to hold it, but uh, I think I can manage. There we go, lined up. So I have the line, 
not perfectly straight, but it's good enough. You gotta be careful with these Tim snips also. I've had a friend that came over to build armor and when he was cutting, he accidentally cut himself here. So if you use that other hand to help hold the part up, whatever you're cutting, just make sure it's not in the way of these tin snips. They're serrated edges, so they go through, they'll go through metal. So it'll easily go through your skin. So again, it's too small, not gonna use it. And on the front, other than the very top here, is tin. So I'm gonna take it to the sander outside and I'm going to sand this nice and smooth they might not line up a hundred percent how I want it but once I put the inner shim in and then I glue the outer shim I'll push these together just like this so they'll be nice and straight or as straight as I can get them so the top doesn't have a big gap or the bottom and then when I put the outer strip in the outer strip is going to stop right here so if there's a gap right in between these two pieces you're going to really see it because there won't be a shim there to uh, hide that so now those two are done I can look at my back one that I've already done and I can kind of measure it and here it's 60 and on this side it's about 65, so I can look at here, and I can do the same thing. Here's 60, right here. And this one is at 70, so I'll go 65. So since this is, I'm going to make sure I did, this is the outer, let's see if the outer or the inner, this is the outer, so I'm going to emulate it side to side, so the outer is 65, the inner is 60, so I'm going to see this is the outer, so the outer is 65, this is the inner, so the inner is 60. So now, more than likely once I cut it, it's going to be a very sharp edge up top. So I don't want to cut all the way over here, I want to keep it more in here. So we want, you kind of want these legs. I can show you the legs are thicker up top and thinner on the bottom so we still want a little bit of a point here because the butt that's how the butt is formed so you want these two to go with the butt the flow of the butt so with this one we're barely cutting off five it looks like maybe five so I'm just going to do five in here trim it down see how far this is if it's way over here I'm not going to trim that far over I'll probably stop it about five from the top so it'll be a little bit of an angle here and what that's going to do if you look here these two are really close it's still a little bit smaller on the bottom we want to bring it in so it's not quite so big on the bottom so we'll just do it in slow increments See how it works. So we're going to measure here. Like I said, this one's five. So we're going to go ahead and go five on this one. I'll come over here and measure a line. One handed. Okay, 
So there's the line. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Let's see how much it is. Down here is about 25. If I was to measure over 25, it would be almost here. Let me put a line real quick. 25 will put it right there beyond. Here's the edge. We'll put it just a little bit on the other side of the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it over 5. So I'm going to make my edge from here to here. So I'm cutting off probably about 10, maybe 15. About 15 and 25. So 15 up top, 25 on the bottom. It's going to be a little bit of an angle. So I can line that up. Should have brought my should have brought my clamp. It would have been easier if you just clamp it down here, and then I can hold it up here. So there's a piece. Like I said, smaller up top, bigger on the bottom. It's going to suck the bottom in so that they both fit together, top and bottom, just right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. probably should have added earlier in the video that I went ahead and rough trimmed everything and then this is trimming after the rough trim trimming it down to the size that I want it okay so this is line both the lines are perfectly straight but it's uh, it's close enough to when I go and sand it down I'm gonna sand it down to where it's a lot straighter so what you're going to want, if you're going to want this bottom piece to line up as close as you can. You don't want to put any gap because again, the shim on the outside stops right here. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. You're going to go from the top to the bottom. This can easily be bent in. And I'm trimming off quite a bit of this return edge, about half of this return edge. So I'm going to take this together real quick and see how it looks. So I'll try, I'll go ahead and try this on myself. Because I'm very close to um, the guy that's going to own this armor. I'm very close to his size. He's a little bit smaller than me. So if it fits me nicely, then it should fit him. So everything on the front, I'm not going to uh, mess with the front one bit. Thing I'm going to mess with if it doesn't fit how I want it is going to be from the back. And also, when I do it, I want to make sure the front is wider than the bottom. Okay, so that's about what I want. I want it to be where these are touching as closely as possible. It's going to come down just a little bit. It's just taped on for now. I just wanted to see. Same thing with this edge. It's going to come in. I'm going to trim it some more so it sits more flush. But right now, if you look, the top is wider than the bottom. 
So to me, looking at these two, they look very similar. And I'll get, I'll probably get a tape measure real quick, and then I'll check and see how wide it is, and to see if it's really close. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it on me real quick, see how it fits me. shorts on so it fits just a little bit big um, it fits over the shorts so I'm going to get my tape measure and I'm going to measure these two so we've already tried this one on him with his uh, undersuit on and it fit him right so I'm going to go ahead and get the tape measure check and see if this other side fits if it fits perfectly or very close to this either I'll trim it down so it's the same or I'll leave it let me get the tape measure So these builds where the person isn't here makes it a lot harder to build, but it can be done. Just makes it a little bit harder. So this is 20 on the bottom. On the top is 25. On the one that's done, we'll go ahead and check the one that's not done. bottom it's not quite 20 it's just a little bit bigger oh hold up for me actually no it is 20 this is good it's a little bit smaller than 20 but that's uh close enough maybe a eighth of an inch difference 16th of an inch the top it's 25 so 25 20 So it looks like we're good to go. They both are very similar. Yep, 2520. So I'm good. Now all I gotta do now is go out there, sand both the edges, front and back, both sides, and then I have to trim all this excess off. I'm gonna trim it real quick with um, tin snips, trim down to probably right here that's about let's see it's about five five millimeters so i'll keep a five millimeter millimeter return edge on the top and on the bottom once i glue it all together put the outer shims and then if i notice if any of these are taller or uh, longer then I'll go ahead and trim it some more once it's glued together. But right now, with it not being glued together, I don't want to trim it as one piece. I want to trim them as separate pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. still going to sand it so it'll be a little bit smaller than what I cut off. So this is about what I cut off. A couple maybe three three millimeters. Eh, about five. About five, five millimeters off. So I'll do the same thing with the bottom. Again the line is actually I can still see it on here. The animal's line is actually right here. So if you can see that, that's the animal's line. And it's 10. I'm going to trim it halfway, about 5. So it'll be 5 millimeters. And then after that, I'm going to sand it. So again, if I think it's too big, once it's put together, I'll sand it again. Just to make it easier that you can move around. You don't want to completely sand it off. You want to have some left just to give your armor 
I know the bottom you're not going to see it very well. The top you will see it just to give that armor that thickness where it looks like it's thicker. Trim this one, then I'll go out there and uh, start sanding. You gotta be very careful when you're using the tin snips, also, because it could damage. It could go too far, and you could damage the return edge. So you gotta be very careful with that. Both ends are done. Now this is ready to be sanded. I'm going to put it to the side. 